Multi.TV. Welcome everyone to the final of the Open Division here at the New Zealand Ultimate Championships. We have Australia Goanas, the under 24 Open team, heading to Heidelberg, Germany later this year, taking on Rocket of Auckland, New Zealand. Joining me, Beck Soper slash Hoobin. Subin, whatever you Subin. like. Subin, Suds. Suds. Great to be here in Wellington on this gorgeous day. Unlike yesterday, uh, the wind has completely died off. Um, there is a little bit of gusting happening at high levels probably in uh, on the field, but definitely at anywhere under sort of hopping height, it's still beautifully still. So Goanas, we streamed their last game against Dogma. They took that one out by a couple of points. Strong start from, from Goes in that game. 5-0 up mm, and managed to hold start. the lead. Rocket beating one of the Wildcats teams. Rocket, of course, made the final last year against Dogma. Couldn't take it away. This year they'll be hoping for something different. The team this year definitely has some old hands on deck, some experienced hands. Some height. So, <laughs> a lot of height. Uh, Whitlock and Stevenson are there on the line. Um, can't see them at the moment, but you will see them later as soon as the camera pan pans around. They are hard to miss. Gigantic men. So it looks like it's going to be the Australian Goanas to pull. Giving Rocket first chance on offense. Crowd building here. Nice atmosphere. Huge amount of spectators, actually. Disc goes up, and the final's underway. Beautiful float. Just into the, just into the end zone. So Miller Mercer on the disc swings it to Whitlock. Whitlock, Whitlock straight away puts a big huck up. Going to Fitzpatrick. Gets there, does very well. Beautiful take. And straight away lays it on a plate. Ben Waller. Ben Waller has boosted it down as his auxiliary support and makes it look easy. What a great first point for Rocket. So Rocket go one up and it was nice and simple. Just a big huck, brought down well. Follow up players were there. It is it is one of uh, Rocket and Groot's favorite sort of look is the, the, long, the long look. We'll see plenty of that today. As Beck mentioned earlier, very still Wellington day, lots of sun. Going to be a lot of hucking. Mm. So first blood goes to Rocket. Goers before the game, I would say, uh, were getting getting quite hyped. Getting their uh, their warm up was very intense, uh, and it looks like that really works for them. Considering the la their last game versus Dogma, they had heaps of energy, heaps of sideline. And it looks like they're definitely making sure that that's continuing through this game. Rocket looking a little, a little bit more uh, reserved, but composed. So Whitlock's going to put the pull up. It's huge. Big floaty one. Might be going out. Probably out the side. 
Oh, just lands out. So the yes. pool has been bricked. It'll Ooh. be number. Th <laughs> That's not worth the three meters. <laughs> It'll be Tom Boyle bringing it up to the brick mark. Offense is a horizontal stack, two handlers back, and it's just match marking from Rocket. Uh, Brotman was so straight oh. away a huck goes Huge. up. It's going to float. That and might be go, out go back. No. Not quite. Beautiful. Stays in. Number 22. 22. Ryan Kovalevs. Apologies for pronunciation. Sorry to all the Aussies at home who uh, will very likely know this man. And a cringing, cringing in our pronunciation. Kovalevs. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But as we've seen, first two points, it's been big huck to score. So the lack of wind very much playing into both the game styles of these two teams. Mm. Goers with a big roster should be able to keep cycling through their players, uh, making sure that uh, they won't run out of legs for this final. Rocket with a slightly smaller roster, but all, all, all very fit young men. All three Australian teams that have come over as well, bringing their own physios, well-staffed, managers, well -staffed. coaches, mm. and big rosters. Here we go with the pull. Not quite as much height as the last couple, not as much float. Picked up by Rocket. Move through to number 19. Swings. Oh, so beautiful straight break up the to line. Stevenson. Stevenson has he the looks disc. long. Fakes the hammer. Oh. Looking for it. That's not a. That's not necessarily a fake, Roy. <laughs> that's a. That's an option for Mr. Stevenson. Oh, handler so Brock, initiated. Brotman gets a disc. Stevenson now. He's looking. Nope. Oh. Up the <gasps> middle. Good grab. Andy Fitzpatrick. Oh. And a big floaty yep. one Here up. We go. Or Couple Troy? of tall people. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if Whitlock and Stevenson were going to try and sky each other there. <laughs> Whitlock with the point. So it's clinical offense so far from Every both teams. There's not enough of a breeze for it to really be an up and down one in any direction. So all the big, all the big throws will continue going up. Goes with maybe not quite as much energy as they've had at the start of previous games. Not quite as much momentum, but I'm sure that will change. The heat out here is quite intense. Um, I'm sure the Australians are very used to it, but us Wellingtonians, not quite so much. Although Rocket, of course, are from Auckland, so they're probably used to some warmer weather. It is quite sapping for your energy, though, having, having quite hot, hot days to play in. So 2-1 to Rocket, no one breaking yet. Mm. Not even any turnovers yet. No. It's just very clean, clean ultimate happening. So goalies have a hand up. Rocket to pull. Waller with the pull, I believe. Goes up, big floaty one. Oh, that's huge. Gets into the zone. They're moving it quickly. It looks like a side stack. Side stack to number 98. Day. Oh, up the line. Oh, beautiful, beautiful break. And it's oh, Waller, not fast enough. Great score from Goanas. Number 72 with the, with the catch. 72, Sam Jacobs. With the score, so again, beautiful run. No break points, no turns. That was some. That was some nice movement from Goey's right up there. Bit of a side stack happening by the looks of it. Side stack and then jamming it up this line until the run. huck came. <laughs> Jam. So two apiece. Nice tight <laughs> early. Start for both teams.
goes with the pool rocket waiting on the line with their hand up. Can't tell quite who's pulling at the moment. I'm sure we'll see. 50. Number 50, Mark Wee. Mark Wee with the pool. Court centred to Warren Brattingham. Swings happening. There's a bit of a, a bit of a junky thing happening. Some junk zone. Looks all business up front. Junk in the back. Back to Buckingham. Swinging, so. swinging. Nice. I'm being very patient with the disc. Happy to live with it. Cooper Brotman finds Altaf Ali. Back to Brotman. He's looking for the cheeky over the top. I think. And Buckingham <laughs> gets it back. Back to Brotman and Ali. These three working together. <gasps> and just miscommunication is our first turn. turn. Of the game. Number 50 takes advantage of that. Sneaks so another handler miscommunication and nabs a deep. White on the disc now. Faking that high release forehead. Oh, doesn't end and up Gets it to Wee. Oh. Big hammer across the zone. Beautiful. 42. Andrews, David Andrews. David Andrews with the score. Beautiful grab. He, so knew what, he knew what his handler was looking for. Gohana is taking advantage of a bit of a sloppy play from Rocket. Well, that is what that sort of man up front junk behind zone is designed to do. Is try, it's, it's there to make a lot of swings, make a lot of passes happen, and bank on the fact that uh, somewhere there's going to be a disconnect and there will be a turn. And it was good patient uh, D from Goeys. Um, not quite as patient from from Rocket. Rocket. The wind is is around a little bit, but nothing yet really to speak of. I would like to have Rocket look a little bit over top of that zone, because once you do get it past that first layer of defense, there's quite a bit of space behind. Once you do get some flow. And they do have the boys to play Skybox behind. Here we go with the pull. And it's up. So Buckingham will receive it. Buckingham, a very old hand on deck. And again, we've got this little junk happening. Right. Swings it out to Ford. He's looking. Looking He's down looking. the line, but Buckingham will get it back. Keeping it going across Stevenson's the field. looking. Again, Buckingham. It's those fakes that make the handle move. There we go. Moving it around, number 18. Smith. Buckingham gets it back. Swings again. The window's picking up a little Ford bit. Ford on the desk. Definitely feel it. It's becoming a bit of a crosswind. Fakes the hammer, does Miller Mercer. The low side of the field will now be the side that the disc has just swung to. That is where the wind is growing, going across to. So keep that in mind if you're one of the viewers. That is what the wind is doing. Buckingham, back to Mercer. Back to Buckingham. Looks like Smith on the disc. Now Stevenson, Smith. I want to go Swinging for it back out this way. That wind just pops it up a little bit, but he brings it down. Buckingham, get to back. Looking for Mercer, not on, so fakes him off, but eventually does get it to him. High side. Hamish Ford, Stevenson back to Mercer. Crashing. Ford again. Mercer. Good work from these handlers. Gets it across to Buckingham. Smith now on that far side, back to Buckingham. I just need to keep working it up, having Ford. their people on behind doing a little bit. Buckingham looked a bit on it, did the goeys player, but not quite on. A little bit more happening in the middle would give them a little bit more options. So Mercer now, Stevenson on the swing. Oh, fakes the fakes big hammer. hammer. <laughs> <laughs> now Whitlock. Whitlock. Looks at Stevenson, they've got a bit of a honey connection. Back to Mercer. <gasps> oh, and Buckingham, Buckingham gets there. Says no. <laughs> Mercer gets it back. This is great patient build up. That back can fake from, from Stevenson. It's got a very convincing fake. Stevenson gets it back. Fakes it, but Mercer will get it. Across to Buckingham. Out to Whitlock. Not, Not in. quite in. It's a bit of, a bit of slow. 
Buckingham gets it back. Whitlock. Still on the low side. Still on the low side of the field. And a big floaty pop. one. Oh, so Mercer layout. manages to get there. Oh. And another layout. Oh. And a great grab oh. in the end. What a grab. That was Hamish huge. Hamish Ford, number 48. Gets up. Couple of huge bids on defense. What a what an attempted layout on D. Sorry, we didn't see the name the numbers of the people laying out on D, but we'll excellent <gasps> effort. Look at him go. Two in a row as well. <gasps> oh, if the, if he'd waited to take that that uh, point any longer, that would have popped up just too much. So good on that rocket player for getting up and just grabbing it. Intense plays beginning to come out. As the wind picks up, so does the intensity. So Rocket are ready. Goey's just having some words with the coaches and the whole squad on the line. Waller with the pull by the looks of it from Rocket. A shorter line on from Rocket. Not that that's particularly short, it's just that uh, Rocket's other line is very tall. So hand goes up, and so does the pull. It's looking gorgeous. Coming down quite steep. Quite steep. Beautiful pull right in the back of the end zone. To number 19. I think that's Carpenter. Big that's swing and pass. Go. Oh, he's busting. Maybe a pull play? McClay oh, on the desk. <gasps> Trips over. Looking for Carpenter, not on. We'll swing it back though. Number That's one. White. White looking downfield. Carpenter Swings. on the disc again. Swings oh, it up. <laughs> <laughs> what a hop. Good grab. <laughs> but oh, Daly. number three juggles it. Swings to 15. Who looks for the hark? That's Bennett. Now it's we. 50 with a disc pick. We've got a pick. Some discussion happening downfield, but there's thumbs up from 25 on 25. Waller and that's uh, Melonfant. Melonfant. And the big oh, heart goes, goes up, up, and it will be 25 on 25. <gasps> what a grab! And Melonfant gets that it. That was huge. Beautiful grab against Ben Waller, one of the more experienced Rocket players. Great effort from Waller. Couldn't quite get there though. It did come in quite steep. Taking uh, taking a uh, taking it at the peak of the jump would have been very hard read. Oh, he's doing very well here, though. Four points to three. There's very few turns so far in this game, which is looking good from both teams. Don't think we've seen anything other than straight match marking from Rocket so far. Mm. Goana's certainly using that junk to good effect, creating the only break point of the match so far. Mm. Just the miscommunication between handlers and that and the goies are very hungry for the D. Our sport is filled with euphemisms. <laughs> Disco's up. Big rolly pull. Stopped beautifully. Good job. Buckingham, Buckingham. <laughs> as well. Mercer now on the disc. Let's swing it. This is Brotman. Up the line to Stevenson. Back to Brotman. Smith now. Stevenson. Stevenson looking, looking long. <laughs> Comes back. He wanted to cut long, you could tell. And that's Mercer. Straight up the guts, through the middle. Stevenson Brotman looking and for Stevenson it. Stevenson looking for it in the same place. Makes it a bit hard on your. Oh! And eventually it does find Mercer. And Stevenson's going long. Oh, he's but looking. The handler wasn't quite aware. Smith now on the disc. I think and we've got a big hammer. <laughs> Stevenson. Ooh, 
Go get money. And he does get there. <laughs> oh, with the jinx. Oh, and he does huge. float it's it around. out wide. Day with Great the D. defense. Day with the D. That's Fisher Day. Stevenson puts a floaty old pass into that corner. But the defender read it very well. Great grab on the second attempt from Stevenson. Mm, good juggle. We've isolated some cutters. I haven't managed to get to them downfield, but there's a beautiful swing. Number 14 with the disc looking downfield. Oh, number 10 swings. He looks like he's going long. <laughs> number 91 free as anything on the high side. Moving the disc middle. Some nice movement happening from the goers here. He's looking up the line. Pickled. So Josh Higgins currently on the disc for Goanas. Looks like there was a pick on Jono Keys running through. Still looking downfield. Oh, big that's floaty a big pass. 28 with the disc. Out to Keys. Buckingham. Looking for the foot block. And Misses. that is intercepted by Whitlock. Who immediately gives it back to Buckingham. And the shot goes up. Oh, Whitlock's going to get there. Surely. Beautiful. Buckingham on a plate to Whitlock. No mistakes. Some of that experience coming through from Buckingham. Just very chilly with the disc. But takes the options when they're there. So Rocket draw level for a piece. I'm expecting we'll see some more of that, particularly uh, with Whitlock and Stevenson on the field. Rocket with their short line on, for want of a better word. Pull goes up, bit flatter. Good distance though. Not as much hang time as some of the others, but all the boys are down there very quickly. 25 some with the disc. Melon Fant on the disc. He's been quite an integral player to some of their offense lines. Melanfant again, little scuba over the top. We're seeing we're seeing a bit of a change for Rockets defense. This is a bit junky. It looks a little bit like that big shot goes That's over huge. the top. Oh, good grab from 42. It's David Andrews back to Melanfant. Swings it through the middle. There's some great movement it's happening Andrews here. Again, and that's oh, very easy. Carving through the defense there. Unsure who brought that down in the end zone, but very clinical from Goanas. A lot of good movement happening downfield, particularly from Andrews, making heaps of ground and then throwing the assist. the team sideline quite as hyped as I've seen either in the past. Likely that they're keeping level heads for the final. Keeping their composure and keeping their heads in the game.
Tall line on for Rocket. Tall line on. Stevenson, Whitlock. So I do believe these guys met in pole play and Rocket took it out. So Goana's wanting some revenge. We've got a big forehand pull. It's going to roll. Big roll. Buckingham and doesn't manage to stop this one. Does roll out the side. So Buckingham will pick it up. They're setting the zone. He's got Whitlock. Oh, Stevenson. <laughs> Stevenson looking to run Rotman long, but his Smith. handles aren't quite there for him. Back to Whitlock. Smith will Big get grab. it. Big grab. Big grab. Stevenson cutting under. We'll get it. He's not, he's not on the right side of the field for his trademark forehand, but he's doing some good work in there. Oh. <laughs> he was looking for it still. <laughs> he was still looking for it. <laughs> so we've got a pick called. Pick called. I suppose if he does put a forehand from there, he's got a big, big wide throwing lane to get to. Unfortunately, I think Goeys are uh, covering that currently. So Stevenson hands it to Buckingham, who passes to Whitlock. Day on Stevenson downfield. That's a fun matchup. Stevenson now. Oh. Looking for the forehand. <gasps> Just so a great lay grab. Great lay. I'll tap Ali. Wait, there's a call. Someone is calling down. Someone's calling down there. So watch a replay of this. Fantastic effort laying out for it. Looks good Beautiful. to us. Beautiful. Beautiful lay. Excellent. Excellent form. Looks like the call has been retracted, so the disc will come in on zero. Hang on, and we've got a violation. Violation called. Uh, someone on field is signaling injury. Oh, I think he's just been told off by his teammates, maybe just a bit tired. All right, no injury on field, thankfully. So Ali has the disc. Turn on zero. Looking for Stevenson. Stevenson does, does a jank. Him. And push pass to Whitlock. Get up. Brotman Ooh, does get there. Close. And Whitlock gets it back. <gasps> Floaty inside forehand. Oh, Troy Stevenson. <laughs> Rocket on the board. Five five. Five pace. Beautiful work from the two tall guys on the rocket line. Whitlock to Stevenson. Two tall boys with a tall connection. They do have a bit of a honey connection happening there. Good work from Brotman, just attacking that disc, not allowing yeah. the Goey's player to get on the inside. To get of it. on the inside. Mm. And great look from Whitlock to find Stevenson. Again, waiting on line, Waller with the pull. So about to get back underway. Rocket to pull to Goeys. Hand up from Waller. Here we go. Big pull. Maybe a bit of a footfall there, but and perhaps nothing that going affects play. Out the side. It will be bricked. Yeah. Unfortunate. Goeys sideline getting a bit more vocal now. Trying to inject a bit more energy. Goey slowly walking the disc up to the brick mark. Waiting for their horror downfield to set. About ready to go. I think there might be white on the disc. Can't quite see the number though. Yeah, it is white. Engages his hand. hand yep, beautiful. Looks for the forehand. Gets it. It's movement happening downfield. Wall is on disc. Beautiful. They keep getting those forehands. So it is we 
on the disc now. We have a we pack. We with the disc. And 41 on, on Mark. Bruce saying on the Mark. So White. Looking for the inside. Engages his dump. It's like that's Carpenter, oh. but a great defense. That was a great cut from the other handler, though. He was very free. Unfortunately. So another pick. Getting a bit messy. Downfield. As the intensity ramps up, downfielders uh, often do get a bit of ants in their pants and start cutting a bit more. Sometimes cutting each other off. It's a good cut from Carpenter. <gasps> Ooh, Almost Waller was dead. looking. Waller was looking. And great grab. What a good grab. Looks like it's number 42. Andrews. David Andrews with the score. He's been doing a lot of work this game. Again, great way from go. He's just using the sideline. Not panicking. Just a couple of passes into the end zone to score. Nice quick ultimate. So O-line coming on for Rocket. Seem very keen to get the game going at a quick rate, whereas Goey's just taking their time after every point. They do have 75 seconds between when the point is scored until they must put the hand up. Support staff making use of that time to have some good chats. So Paul does go up. Just into the zone. Buckingham. That's so to Whitlock. Whitlock. Ooh. Down the line. They're getting some space the here. This is beautiful. Patrick Whitlock to Whitlock. Again. <laughs> I think it's telling that I started looking for Stevenson there just to see if he, Whitlock was looking at Stevenson. <laughs> Buckingham has the disc now. Smith. Nothing's happening downfield. Whitlock going to get it back. Looks for Br Brotman. Beautiful, beautiful clinical offense right there. Whitlock with the assist, Brotman with the score. So Rocket bounce back straight away. Hmm. Six apiece, what a game. Or as the Australians would say, six. Six apiece. Six. The Australian next to us saying that's what we say. Oh. <laughs> so, of course, following this game, we have the women's final. CP juvenile delinquents against repeat offenders. Co-commentator Beck Soper will be playing in that game. Should be a lot of fun. I am looking forward to versing our sister team from, from Wellington. It is always a little bit difficult when everyone knows all your tricks, though. Maybe won't get off as many hammers as last game. Yeah, there were a few. We yeah. did note that as well. <laughs> three from three completions. Well, yeah, 100% hit score. rate. I didn't throw any high release forehands, though, so. It's disappointing. Yeah, really. So Whitlock's going to pull. Oh. That's nice. Going to fall Look very how, sharp. Look at how much distance they got. Right in the back of the end zone. That's Brilliant pull. gorgeous. All the men are down there. Whitlock They've on the mark the quickly. Line. They've got Go. the tall line happening. We might have travel a long called. shot. Oh, travel no, called. we have a travel called. Mark McClay was busting down Let's the field. Let's have a look at the replay. Pass here. Oh, he didn't really quite look like he was attempting to slow down. As soon as you catch the disc, you do have to 
and you do have to start attempting to slow down. Oh, Ooh. big layout attempt, but <laughs> throw wasn't coming out again. Lays out twice on the same on the same mark. Number 20, my Brockman getting big on the big on defense on the mark. So Carpenter has the disc for goies. Oh, inside out forehand. Oh, big good jump. Good grab in the end. Pick and called. Pick called. So Mike McClay did well there to leap high and grab it. Mm. But perhaps the defender didn't have the chance to follow him. No, I, be I believe the pick was um, a couple of other people in the stack. So I think Brockman's just caught up to his man, maybe. So disc yep, is back in, and, and it goes and he up puts straight it away. Immediately. Bruce, get there, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, can't quite haul it in. <laughs> oh, what a play. Great look. Great chase from the Rocket defender, Bruce Ng. Ambitious straight from the. Oh, it just comes out of his hand. It's ambitious like to go straight from a from a call to a, a long put. I'm not sure if his uh, cutter was quite quite as ready as he could have been for that one. David Andrews cutting to the zone for that. He made a good effort to get there. He got a hand to it. So Brotman and Ooh. Bruce in great layout. Great layout. Looking downfield. Stevenson. Stevenson. And we might Ooh. have a long put coming up. No. He wanted it. You could tell he was he was keen. Mercer gets it to Brotman. Who's poached in the stack? Bruce Ling, move your butt. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Stevenson does get it. Down that line. Looking to perhaps center it. Here it goes Beautiful. to Brotman. Beautiful movement upfield. And floaty Ooh. forehand. Layout D from Layout D from one of the goies. Great intensity on defense from the goies. Here we go. It goes up. So that was Dylan Bennett with the defense. Good stuff from Bennett. And it will be Malenfam picking up the disc and bringing it to the corner of the zone. Got Carpenter back with him. Just a horror stick. Tight match mark. He Huck goes up. up. Travel called immediately travel by Wedlock. Travel called, but it oh, might not matter. But anyway, retract the travel. Good effort from Mark McClay, getting big, but just touches the tips of his fingers and and to ground. So Cooper Brotman picks up the disc. Looks, looks for Stevenson. Stevenson. <laughs> Straight away. Kirk called immediately. I don't think it was on Stevenson. Oh yeah, there we go. It's from just over the side of the field. He's looking downfield, looks at his handler, fakes him, asking him to move. Oh, foul called, foul called. Melon Fent, I believe, on Whitlock. Uncontested. It's Mercer on the desk, finding Whoa. Whitlock. <laughs> Melon Fent really wants that. Bruce Ng going long. That's huge! You've got to catch it, buddy. So it won't be a point. Uh, the crowd yells that that's a break, but unfortunately not quite. I think that's just Riley Van Turnout. <laughs> Turning out for what? So Whitlock will have the disc back. Signaling still coming in on two, I believe. So same cut, but the same throw is not going to come up. Unfortunate, because it was beautiful throw. Whitlock and <gasps> Aang. You've got to go get it, buddy. You've got to go follow get it. Up. <laughs> That's the one. Swings. So Mercer gets it. Stevenson under. Very Stevenson looking for a big four. No, oh, no the cut was on, yeah. though. Mercer gets the disc. Finds Brotman. Puts it up. Oh, you've got to be careful with those Aussies on your shoulder. 
It's been a lot of layout days and I'm loving it. Bottom back, pack cold. cold. It's getting very messy. Crowd's getting louder. Number 15, Bennett getting some claps in the stack. So Stevenson. And Brotman takes his eyes off the disc. He's thinking about what he was going to do before he caught it. Well, when you've got Whitlock cutting downfield for you, you're probably, probably looking at him. So Mellon fan will pick the disc up. Oh, beautiful inside out. Backhand Ennis. Beautiful roll. Oh, cheeky. Pick called. <laughs> pick called. So Mark McClay will be denied a point. Bennett with the disc. Oh, was it? Did he just fake the dad backhand? Whoa. It will be a point eventually for Me oh, with the Goanas. Spike. Messier than uh, the first uh, the first time it looked like a point, but got the job done. So it is 7-6. And Goanas, when this next point starts, will be looking and to take half. Spike. <laughs> Disrespectful. Go away. <laughs> Don't give me that look, Rory. Looks like, I oh know, we don't have a timeout. We just have a big congregation of goannas. <laughs> what do they call a group of goannas? A plethora. No, no, like, you know how there's a murder of crows? Yeah, I've got no idea. Parliament of owls? A gaggle. A gaggle of goannas? Uh, the Aussie is saying no. Oh, no oh but he says he, know, he has no idea either, so. A pack. A slither of goannas. Wait, do they, uh, or are they bigger than that? To be fair, I didn't know what a goanna was until this tournament. Maybe it's like a... Oh. So just having a look at that pick call again. It's well beaten in the middle when he calls it. So it's not this one, it's this guy here. Yeah. This one. Oh. He's never going to get there. No way. You beaten Doug Ball. I, I, I could. You do have three seconds to call a pick, so it could have happened earlier than that. It's sort of hard to tell from the replay. I didn't see all of it, but a one-eyed Australian cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> hard to tell, but you could say that the disc never lies. Goey still did score the point. Maybe so it's a waggle of goannas because they do waggle. sort of do they sort of waggle when they like run. Mercy to Smith. Oh, down the line to Waller. Back to Mercer. Back to Buckingham. Cheers going up for... Whitlock. Uh, <laughs> Whitlock puts it Oh, it's huge high. to Waller. And Waller's going to grab Whoa, that. Oh, bring that down. What a nom. We've got some feedback. A slaughter. A slaughter of... A slaughter of iguanas with a question mark. So I don't I think that's it. But I, I like the shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like some more uh, suggestions, though, from our viewers. Please tell us what the real name for a group of goies is. Seven apiece, Galaxy Point, a term which I still don't think is a thing. It is. It is a thing. I've never heard it before. What? How long have you been playing, Roy? Too long. Not long enough. <laughs> And it does look like we have a timeout this time around. Goey's going in for some cuddles. Rocket looking a bit more standoffish. Where's the team love? Maybe it's just too hot for a snuggle. We've got a lounge of lizards. A lounge of... But the a bucket of goannas. A bucket. <laughs> Do they, do they frequently live in buckets? Do they, do they who, like hiding there? Who knows? I, know, I do know Australia has all sorts of strange and unfortunate a animals that do like hiding in shoes and gumboots and buckets and 
toilet seats. <laughs> One interesting question I did have from before from a teammate was, what sound does a, a goanna make? Uh, they did settle on. Yeah, I, I can see that. Maybe it's a of goannas. Very onomatopoeic. As far as I can tell online, can't see what a collective noun for Goannas is, so I want suggestions coming in and that will be the official name. We'll make a Wikipedia page for it, surely. Just a minute. Change the Wikipedia page. Tell zoologists what's what. Some strapping happening on the sideline, which I'm a little bit concerned about. It looks like Whitlock's getting strapped up. Might be an ankle. At the moment, Rocket on the line. We've been told Dave Andrews of Goanas does a great impression of a Goana. I'm looking forward to that. Perhaps if he is available, we can interview him at halftime and uh, get the download on what a real Goey sounds like. Ball goes up. Great layout bid, tidying that one up. Beautiful roll as well. Jacobs on the disc. He's looking. Mellon, oh, swings wide today. He's looking downfield, looking downfield. It's a bit chunky, sort of. Here we go. So there's McClay again. Oh, puts, puts a big up forehand a up. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, what a take from Day. Well taken by beautiful Fisher Day. Beautiful intermediate spike. <laughs> do Goannas have spikes? I don't think so. They're not These the guys do. <laughs> so it looks like that will be half time. Beautiful inside out float for Day to rip down. Goannas do take half, it's eight points to seven, tight game. At this point, we may lose Beck Soper as she has to go and warm up for her final coming up shortly. But when we come back from half time, we'll have Heather Hickey joining me. Heather the Hickmeister will talk through the rest of it. So all the best for your final, Beck. Good luck. Thanks for having me, Rory. It's always a pleasure.
that are just coming back from halftime. You'll hear the crowd going absolutely nuts over the halftime entertainment. And in fact, both teams were more engaged with that than they were in their own team talks. Hello, Rory. Welcome, Heather, to the commentary box. Hello, stream watchers. So Heather, of course, an injured player from one of the CP teams, the repeat offenders, who are taking on Beck Soper's team very shortly. The juvenile delinquents. Clearly a theme, capital punishment. Doesn't always go over well when you're advertising on social media. <laughs> Of course, Wellington being the capital city of New Zealand, hence the name. Punishing the opposition is the game. So great final so far. Yeah, really, really great final so far. As close as it possibly can be at half. Really, really great bids so far. Really, really great patience against the zone. Yeah, it's been entertaining. Good to see some of my, my former Marvelous or MDC teammates on the Rocket team. Ben Waller unable to join us over in Ohio at Wook. Um, but we've also got Troy Stevenson. And past national MDC players, Nicholas Whitlock, Ben Waller, and Cooper Brotman. I'm not as familiar, obviously, with the Goies, the Goanas. I will trust that Rory will keep us posted on all of their surnames. Do my best. <laughs> big squad means big team sheet. It's enormous Numbers are hard squad. to find. <laughs> big squad, big plays. Lots of commitment. See them taking the knee at every point. What are you expecting or what are you looking for? If you could call for anything more out of the game. I think both teams are actually doing the basics very well. When the throw is on to go long, they're putting it up. Mm. And when it's not, they're hold, holstering the put. Really so smart. very smart play. As the wind does start to pick up a little bit. We saw this yesterday heading into the afternoon. It starts to get a little bit windier here in Wellington. But the pull does go up from Rocket, so Goanas will have the first opportunity. And looks like they're coming in with a zone. And Jonathan, Rocket. here's a big shot coming up again, and... Good grab taken by Kovalevs, Can number ben 22. Ben stops that flow really well, and... Oh, <laughs> nice and simple, here. though, for Goies. Fisher Day with the assist. Whitlock with a good effort on D, streaking through. Nice long put opening up the field. Just meant the goalies needed to be patient heading into the zone. So goalies take a two point lead. Mm. Looking for Rocket to fire back. Again, not a heck of a lot of wind. Every once in a while, a gust or so. Not much, but beautiful skies. Beautiful scenery. Great play. All right, I see see a few of those marvelous players out there on the Rocket squad now. What well, Beck called the tall line. Yeah, the tall line. <laughs> so Rocket have the hand up, goes to pull. Big floaty one. 
will come back in field perhaps. No. no be. Just going to fade away. So it will be bricked. And Buckingham will bring it to the brick mark. Setting up another zone look. Troy wide open on the wing, asking for it. Buckingham in the middle. We'll send it to Stevenson. Find Smith. Up the line to Whitlock. Tight squeeze. Whitlock Big puts it up. Put up. And it's going to be Stevenson. Who will grab oh, it? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Those two, Woodlock and Stevenson, connecting, not for the first time today. As Troy might normally say, all day. Great grab, using his height <laughs> to full advantage there. Well done. Nice look from Woodlock, too. Very calm. Saw that Stevenson had the space out in front of him, just weighted it perfectly. Big step out. Stevenson does well to box out too, not allowing the Guyana's player a bit on the disc. Yep. Well done. All right. We have a game still. <laughs> There's one point in it. Rock will be looking to, to cause a turn and convert. See if they can stifle those, those quick attacks from the goalies. You might have heard a scream earlier, Miriam. The call was Miriam. Miriam was unable to join the repeat offenders women's squad and is finally ready to play with us for the final. Ring in. All right. Pull is up and centered by the goies. Good movement. Uh, Here's big a big shot. bomb. Oh. Waller has got to chase that down. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't want to catch it, clearly. <laughs> Although a skilled handler. So Whitlock will pick the disc up. Yeah, letting someone else grab it. If you don't catch on D, make sure you take down that second chance. So we'll have Buckingham back with him. Looks like Waller's going deep. long. Though it's Is it shy? He great, oh. great attempt. Great effort. Unable to haul it in. Oh. And Fouled by his own player. <laughs> Wide open number 14. It's Higgins. Two. Still looking. Higgins still on the desk. Finds his handler down the line. Oh, and still manages to, oh. Still manages to jam it in the front of the end zone. So it looks like that was John O'Keys with the score. Perhaps Matt Daly couldn't quite make out the number whether it was a six or an eight. Mm. But good patience from Goanas. Capitalizing again on that mistake. I believe that was an eight. 28, John O'Keys. All right. Rocket ready to come back on. Oh. So still a two point ball game? Yep. Want to call for a little bit more sideline chatter from them. Get themselves pumped up a bit more. It is hot out here, though. We do have players spraying water on their necks.
Nice to win the toss for a white jersey. Keep cool in this heat. So Disca is going to go up by Goeys. Malenfant or Malenfant. Buckingham, get the disc. Mercer has it now. Sitting up in a horizontal stack. Mercer gets it back. Looks off Ryan Smith. We'll look for Buckingham. See, gets Smith back. Buckingham now uses Stevenson. Looking to stretch the field. Buckingham. Nope. Just playing calm, cool, and collected. Into Smith. Bit of space opening up now. Mercer fakes the big backhand. And as soon as that pace picks up, a pick is called. Lots of picks so far in this game. <clears throat> in this position, Troy's coming under to clear that space in the deep. Mercer's Buckingham looking for the reset, jinking, finding another reset. Smith now. On the disc, swings it, uh, but straight to the goalie's player. Mis miscommunication. Unfortunate. There will be we on the disc. Pick called again. Pick called. Hmm. Cooper taking that reset matchup obviously trying to stop that so it looks like just coming in on five line. stopping that down the line up and it's still thrown that up call needs to come from the sideline trust throw from the goeys very simple play yet again from the goeys but it's working well mm. okay, there it is again Although he had great position. It would have been great to have someone from the sideline just holler up for him. But effective play from the Guanas. There we go. Bit of chatter from the sideline for the Rockets. I'm calling for a universe point game. That's the way I like them. A little more excitement is what we're after. Obviously a little bit of bias for the Kiwis as well. Looks like we still have a third place um, women's match going on between the Christchurch Chicks and the Aussie Stingrays. Unsure what that score is at the moment. Both teams still playing. only other concurrent match at the time. Here comes the pull. It is a long one. It is an outside in curving backhand and is inbounds centered in Rockets defending zone. Oh. And Smith angered himself there, hitting the yeah, ground. Absolutely. Just taking his eyes off the disc. Just unlucky. Kicking himself. Would have caught any other disc. Unfortunate timing. It will be John O'Keys picking the Troy disc up. Looking to put a really strong mark on the disc and bait a hand block. Swung mm -hmm. wide. Why do? Back to Keys. Troy He's marking shimmy, very strong. Shaking. Yep. Well done to push them back. Great work from Stevenson on the mark. Whitlock's turn now. And it oh. will go up very easily. Stevenson unable to keep up. Good shimmy shakes and good mark. Just unfortunately got that transferred to somebody else. In the zone. So Goey's building up a bit of a lead now. I thought there was going to be, yeah, you can see there's a bit of miscommunication. I thought his team he had that, that man. There four, was no switch there. Four point game, so. Mm. Oh, he's looking comfortable at the moment. Team from Australia. 
that might just take my headset off. Call for a little bit more uh, hype from the Rocket Squad. Be right back. Hear the hickey there, assaulting Stevenson on the sideline. You may have seen that on screen. So the pull will roll out the side. Buckingham will pick it up. Goey's really need, sorry, Rocket really need to find something here. Absolutely. Need a little bit more hype. So Whitlock will get the disc. And we'll swing it straight away. Good nice grab. grab. Back to Whitlock. Nice. Find Smith. Nice. Whitlock. Looking for a deep. No. Nope. Bromman was long, but it will be bucking him. Once more. No. Nope. Whitlock Great might be free face. long, but it's going to go oh. up. And is it is it? Whitlock. And, and he will get it. <laughs> that is a highlight play for sure. Well-deserved congratulations from his teammates. Thought he may have held on to it a little bit too long for the throw, but Whitlock's got the skill to bring it down. Waller sees him free and boosts it. Good bid from the Goeys player, but yeah. Whitlock too good on that occasion. Too tall, too long. A very capable receiver, Whitlock. Also very capable handler. Pacing a little bit faster with the wind now. Currently blowing from us away from the screen towards the mountains. Yeah, a bit of a crosswind. So it will be Waller who's pulling for Rocket. This goes up. Might get caught in the wind. No. no, it doesn't. Well done to stay in bounds. Be looking to trap on that far side if I were them. Uh, quick movement all the way through that center of the zone already. Magoes. 72 now, looking to reset. Got a little bit of a junk to Rocket. It's a two-person cap forcing center. Boyle looking for it. No, Alexis had to take 10. Foreman. So Ali on the mark for Rocket. 98. This does go up, it's gonna fall short. Oh. Oh. And somehow. Magical hands from Baron. Wow. The disc is not down until it is officially down, folks. Excellent grab. Mm. And great bid from Rocket. Well kept up by Baron. <laughs> We've got Tristan Mercer here <laughs> watching the replay just going a bit nuts. <laughs> Somehow keeping that disc in play. Yeah, impressive. Grass any higher would have been down. Might try and watch another replay of that. Oh, 
Oh. As Eng just gets wrong footed. Oh, did they think it might have been down? Close. And scooped. Scoot. By Baron. But the point will stand. On a large high def TV, you may have a better perspective than us at the moment. Perhaps a little bit of controversy yeah. in the final. Generally, disc never lies. We should see if it were down. Go is to be punished. <laughs> Karma. Karma <laughs> punishment. No, I'm just you. Not the great effort. Very floaty, high hanging pull in the sun. Buckingham will just leave it to hit the ground. I think that's quite wise. Stevenson open on the wing here. He's got an option long. Elects not to take it. Nice. And well done from Ryan yeah. Smith. Continue to reset it and big swing. Swung wide. Well taken Just bucking him on the disc again. Looks like it's Mercer now. Bit of a junk still. Looking to move it again. Buckingham has the disc. Mm. Whitlock now. You can push backwards a bit. Scooper Ooh. over the top, straight into okay. the hands of Goey's number Snake seven, Scott Perry. And now Goey's. It is Perry that scores. It is Perry that scores, number seven. And they build themselves a very comfortable lead. A five. Five point lead. And a game to 15, 14 points to nine. Mm. That scuba over the top, looking to be quite cheeky. Unfortunately, <coughs> just doesn't come off this time. Yeah, the defender, a bit of a snake in the grass, that green, green jersey. Camouflage on the pitch. I reckon this will be a really good point, though, from Rocket. They need to find something. Oh. Stage a comeback. We know they're capable. Guyana's just coming out the stronger side after half time. Remember, it was 8 7 going into it. Outscoring Rocket six points to two so far in this half. Mm. Still some smiles on those rocket players' faces, ready to receive the pull. From number 72, Jacobs. It is up. And it is well weighted. Stays in the zone, fielded by Brotman. Mercer now on the disc. Gets it to Brotman. Swings to Buckingham. Stevenson's open on that wing in the zone. Brotman again has the disc. And it will be Mercer. Brotman just traps back. Space over the Hammer top, over the to, top Waller. to Waller. Mm. Might look. Oh. oh. Big forehand goes Big. up to Stevenson. Lofty. <laughs> and the wind holds on to it. Stevenson does too. Pinched by defenders. He's able to wait. Doesn't bid when that defender goes up. So that's one of the points that Rocket need. Well done. Heaps Get into of space. Acres of space. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Rory? Just going to say, Rocket needing... Five more on the trot. It's not going to be easy. They do hit double figures. Hmm. Much more respectable as soon as you can hit double double digits. I'd be looking to trap on the far wing at the moment if I were the Rocket team. What would you be doing? Would you be saying, Coach? Coach McKenzie? Just 
got to go as hard as they can on defense. Yeah. Not give away anything, any cheap meters. Yeah. This is their last game of the tournament. They want to leave everything out there. Yeah, no point keeping any gas in the tank. So Whitlock will pull. Big IO backhand. And it looks like it might just sneak it back in. in. And Stevenson close for the Callahan. Wants that. Whitlock oh, there is a chase sneaker long. deep and there's some communication error. Number 42. Whitlock just lost Andrews. his mark there. But was covered. But Goeys have a chance to seal off the game. White now looking for reset, finds it. White again. Another swing to the center. And here. And that's game. Yeah, it's game. That is game. Carpenter sends it to McClay. The Australian under 24 men's open, Goanas. Take out the New Zealand Ultimate Championship title. They do indeed and are very pleased with themselves. Rightfully so. Final score, 15 points to 10. They were much more clinical after half time. And I think that was the difference. Far few returns from, from the goeys. So congratulations to the Australian team taking out the competition. We'll see you very shortly for the women's final. Capital punishment versus capital punishment. <laughs> Repeat offenders versus the juvenile delinquents. TV.